Hello everyone. Welcome to our service of morning prayer for the sixth Sunday of the Easter season, May 9th, 2021. Today is Rogation Sunday, or commonly called Asking Sunday, and it's also Mother's Day. Our service of morning prayer takes the form of right number two from the Book of Common Prayer for the Episcopal Church of the United States of America, ECUSA. Alleluia! Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia! Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ has entered, not into a sanctuary made with hands, a copy of the true one, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Dearly beloved, we have come, we've come together in the presence of Almighty God our Heavenly Father to set forth his praise to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind, we worship him. Let us kneel in silence and with patience and obedient hearts confess our sin, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. And so, friends, may Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins, through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall, so, shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was at the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
our first lesson for today comes from the book of Acts chapter 10 verses 44 to 48 while Peter was still speaking these words the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who heard the word and those of the circumcision who believed were astonished as many as came with Peter because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles as well. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. And Peter answered, Can anyone forbid water that these should not be baptized who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then they asked him to stay a few days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall down from the heavens, and return not again, but water the earth, bring forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have proposed, and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm appointed for today is Psalm number 98. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation, his righteousness he has revealed in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. He, all, all the ends of the earth, have seen the salvation of our God. Shout joyfully to the Lord all the earth. Break forth in song, rejoice and sing praises. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of a song, with trumpets and the sound of a horn. Shout joyfully before the Lord the King. Let the sea roar in all its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together before the Lord. For he is coming to judge the earth. His righteousness he shall judge. With righteousness he shall judge the world. The peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son. And to the Holy Ghost as it was at the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our second reading is from First Letter of John, chapter 5, verses 1 to 6. Whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves him who begot also loves him who is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, 
when we love God and keep His commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not burdensome. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that, is, that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not only by water, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit who bears witness, because the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our gospel reading for today is from the gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 9 to 17. St. John writes, As the Father loves me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I, whatever I have commanded you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise be to thee. O oh Christ. And so may the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be now and always acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. So, friends, today is the fifth Sunday of the Easter season. We also celebrate what we call Asking Sunday, traditionally called Rogation Sunday. The word Rogation comes from the Latin word Rogare. And that is to ask or to make supplication. And I think it's also fitting that today is Mother's Day because we have asked so much of our mothers during our lives. And those of us who have lost our mothers wish we still had them so we could ask them more. Rogation Sunday or Asking Sunday is one where we, we look at our mutual asking of both God and humanity. God is asking each of us as people of faith to spread his good news in thought, word, and deed to all whom we might encounter each day. Through faith, we in turn are asking God to supply us with all that we need to fulfill the mission he has set before us. By faith, we ask God to help us to be the people God knows we can be. The book of Acts, chapter 10, verses 44 to 48, clearly tells us that the Spirit of the living God is, is upon those who believe. It's upon us who believe. God's Holy Spirit is not just for a secret group of 
or select group of people who believe themselves to be God's chosen people. But it is available to everyone. Those who earnestly invite God into their lives, into their hearts, through faith in Jesus Christ, are welcomed into the household which bears his name. The baptism of God is for all who believe. For all who believe. In the first letter of John, we heard earlier, we learn that every person who truly believes that Jesus is the long-awaited Messiah, the Christ, the offspring of the living God, is a new creation that will conquer the world. Through our faith in Jesus Christ, we love God, and everyone who truly loves the Creator loves that which the Creator has created. By this we know, explains John, that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey His commandments. For anyone who is born of God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. It is with this same sentiment that we read Psalm 98, a Psalm of David, which calls us to see the wonderful deeds of our God, to shout for joy at all that God has done and continues to do in our world and in our lives. We need to have a sense of gratitude. We need to shout for joy and be gracious unto God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his holy arm has he won for himself the victory. The Lord has made known his victory, his righteousness has been openly shown in the sight of the nations. Psalm 98 Because of our faith, we know that God has shown his love to all the world. We recognize his handiwork. We recognize the love of God in all creation. We recognize that out of the love between the Father and the Son, through the power of the Holy Spirit, all creation has come into being. And the evidence is all around us. Our job as faithful believers is to love all that God has set before us. The Gospel of John, in revealing to us the true divine nature of Jesus of Nazareth reminds us that the evidence of our connection to God is made known through our relationship with Jesus and our relationships with one another. I think sometimes we forget about that. That our relationships, the evidence of our relationships, relationship with God is made evident made known through our relationships with one another. Without Jesus, explains St. John the Evangelist, nothing of true value is actually possible. No matter how valuable and right we might understand it to be. Mm -hmm. Through our faith in Jesus Christ, God's adoption and grace has been revealed. Through the life, death, resurrection, and example of Jesus, we are no longer like servants, but heirs to God's heavenly kingdom. St. John writes, I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. Because of our faith, each of us has skin in the game. We have a personal and collective stake in God's unfolding story. Yesterday, today, 
and for all eternity. Through our faith in him, God has revealed himself to us in the person of Jesus Christ and we have been chosen as his ambassadors. We've been chosen as his ambassadors. I have appointed you to go and bear fruit, says Jesus. Fruit that will last. So that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. And I am giving you these commands. So that you may love one another. The very essence of God's message to us through our, our scripture readings today is that of mutual love. Love of God. Love of one another and love of all of God's creation. So friends, as we come to worship our Creator God on this Rogation Sunday, the sixth Sunday in the season of Easter, we know the truth and have been given the key to God's everlasting, everlasting kingdom. And that key is faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are called to bear much fruit in the image and example of God as revealed to us through Jesus, our Savior. Through faith, we know that God is asking us to be his ambassadors of love and grace and mercy until our earthly lives have come to an end. By our faith, in Christ Jesus, we have been given the ability to ask and imagine and to do great and marvelous things as contributors, contributors and illustrators of God's unfolding story. On this Rogation Sunday, this Asking Sunday, this Mother's Day, let us remember that joy and love are perfected in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us go out into the world to bear fruit that will last for the cause of Christ in our world. In faith, let us ask God's holy and life-giving Spirit to help us to be the people God knows we can be to the ends of the earth. So this we ask, in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. And now to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, be all praise, honor, dominion, and glory on this day and forevermore. Amen. Now, let us affirm our faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified dead, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern them and uphold them now and always. 
day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope. The Collect for the sixth Sunday of the Easter season. Let us pray together. Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you riches beyond imagination. Pour into our hearts such love toward you that we, loving you above all things, may obtain your promises which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray a collect for the renewal of life, especially in this time of a worldwide pandemic. O oh God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet in the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we might, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the collect for peace. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we surely trusting in your defense may not fear the power of any adversary. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the collect for grace. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may fall, in, fall not into sin, nor be overcome by, ad, by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to fulfill of your purposes, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And a prayer for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. now the great thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, to give you humble, humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Now the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in their midst. 
Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his everlasting countenance and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you forevermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.